Hello and welcome to Talking Shit with Dr. Todd and Natalia. Today we're going to discuss, drum roll please, <laughs> shit, feces, caca, crap, doo doo, dong, poop, stool. Yep, stool is the perfect tool for scientists. Feces can tell researchers a great deal of information about the animal that left it. Including hormone levels, diet, parasite load, mmm, parasite load and the gold standard of biological evidence, DNA. But it has to be collected properly. So snap on a pair of gloves, strap on a mask, and use a sterile instrument to pick up a sample, such as tweezers or a tongue depressor, and then put that sample in a uh, sterile container. And it's also important to know which part of the sample is most likely to have viable DNA. Dr. Todd, would you like to tell the nice people at home about the bulldozer effect? Well, in this case, the bulldozer is the feces itself. We need to know which is the leading edge of the feces produced because as it leaves the intestinal tract in the rectum, it's sort of like a bulldozer taking epithelial cells with it. And it's those cells on the leading edge that contain the bulk of the DNA. I bet you're never gonna look at a bulldozer the same again. I know I didn't. Next up, we analyze the dung. To do this, we break open the cells that contain the DNA, we separate the DNA from the other cellular material, we purify it, we amplify it, and then we visualize it. And it's by visualizing it that we can identify the species that it came from. That's really interesting, Dr. Todd. No shit. So remember, the next time you walk your dog, you're not curbing your dog. You're just simply picking up DNA samples to throw in the trash.